I have a box from Babyland. So this was kind of like my official birthday gift to myself. As we all do as doll collectors, we give ourselves birthday and Christmas gifts. I have not purchased anything from Babyland in over a year because uh, this year for Christmas I got American Girl stuff. They added like new things since the last time I had looked so that's why I decided I had to get these. So um, Babyland, if you aren't familiar, if you don't collect Cabbage Patch dolls, it's kind of like the Cabbage Patch headquarters where they sell soft sculpture dolls. It's like a whole like tourist experience. You can That's like, you know, I don't really want to go anywhere, but that is one place I would like to go. Yes, uh, and that was before I started collecting these dolls. I was like, baby dad. So when I found out that they sold things online that you could order, I had to get them. And the quality is amazing. It's definitely like expensive for these items because they're it's kind of like comparable to American Girl but I think it's really worth it my favorite clothes as you can see baby Otis is wearing one of my um, outfits I got for my birthday last year <clears throat> so and the weird thing is they never charge for sales tax for our state because you can see it like put in and put zero percent yeah I true. think because they read the clothes and like Massachusetts doesn't tax for clothes and I, I don't think they realize it's doll clothes <laughs> How much American Girl tax goes that way? So the first thing, they come in these like bags. It's a camo sleeper. I mostly got things for my boys because my collection is predominantly like Coleco dolls from the 80s. Um, and I have a lot of clothes for girls, but not as many for boys. So, you didn't see the best part. Look at your foot, look at your foot. Oh, it's this baby land, it's baby land. I will have to show you close-ups of all of this. These are like really heavy material and they all have like metal snaps. So it's like buying something um, in the like real human baby section. Mm. So then this other one is a star sleeper. So that one is called the um, camo crawling baby sleeper. And this is the blue star sleeper. And these sleepers retail for $20. So it is kind of expensive, but oh, that one has on for good. Yes, these are like lush. If you're into like fancy clothes for your dolls, oh my god, this is so much cuter in person. That is adorable. And they have like the the Babyland logo on the feet too, on one foot. Oh, I love it. It's like it's like applique or em embroidery or something. It's, it's embroidery. I'm, I'm not Beautiful. sure the technical term, but these like the ones with the logos are my favorite. So then I did get one sleeper for my girls. This is the striped aqua and pink ruffle cupcake sleeper, which is also $20. Oh, can't wait to see this on Kelly or Tamanella. This is so Ooh. good. Oh, it has a little thingy on the bottom. Yeah. These are like really heavy. They smell good. Oh yeah, they do. They smell like expensive new doll clothes. Oh my god, the cupcakes are so cute. I know, I know. See, I couldn't fully appreciate them in the pictures online. I think they have that same sleeper with like something besides cupcakes. I oh, we have to get that. Bunny one or something. Um, and then this is the whales in denim outfit. So this is the Babyland collection. It just doesn't have the branding. And this is for the um, 12 or 14 inch dolls. So I bought these for my Coleco Premies because these fit them really well. And this one was $15. So these smaller doll clothes are cheaper. They also sell 9 inch doll clothes. Oh, <gasps> a little whale. So and cute. And these ones have buttons, not like metal snaps. It's like um, not quite as nice quality as the sleepers. But these are really cute. Sometimes they do sell like non Babyland collection things, like they have little adventures or like other random things. This is Babyland collection, oh yeah. Oh, this is big. Yeah, because it was a uh, newborn to like 20 inch. Um, yeah, so this is the Red Tractors outfit. This was the most expensive. This was 25. This is big. I I thought because it said it was for 20 inch or newborn, which are the 17 inch, that maybe I could get away with using it on some of my boys, but I don't know now that I'm seeing it in person. Because the problem I have is that Oscar and Baldwin, my big softies, 
they are 24 inch because they're from the 80s so they're usually too big and they also are too barrel chested yeah oh, oscar has this huge barrel chest and then otis is um a, the nursery collection so he's like so very square he's shape. like he's got a whole kind of unique body pattern and then ralphie is a preemie <gasps> this is really cute though that is so cute it's like an interesting material it's kind of scratchy but it's really cute I don't know, maybe maybe Baldwin could fit it. Yeah, Baldwin's not as um barrel shaped as Oscar. So cute. So we're gonna try these on the dolls and um show you what they look like on dolls. A thousand splendid dolls now pre presents for your viewing pleasure a cabage fashion show. <laughs> Dun -dun -dun. You can see I really like my bald babies. So let us start with Baldwin, who can in fact fit. Um, Kelly, what's Oops. going on, my friend? <laughs> You're a little drunk. Who can in fact fit this red tractor sleeper? He is in 1983 softies, so yep. he's like you can see compared to my shelf, like he he's quite tall and he's got this really bulbous head. He is not as barrel chested and doesn't have the same Popeye arms as Oscar or other softy, who's technically the same size, but they are hand sewn. Um, so. I think the belly I probably could get Oscar in, but I don't know about the arms. Yeah, because Oscar's like Popeye. So then we have the baby Otis. So he looks stunning in this star sleeper. It really brings out the blue in his fabulous eyes. And you can see that this sleeper has beautiful applique and a little footsie print and the snaps on this one run across the front and a uh, rattle not included <laughs> that's otis's then we have uh, my first cabbage patch doll baby martin modeling the camo baby crawling sleeper i really like the orange lettering in the photos online it looks red but it's actually orange in person and the stitching on the foot here is actually done in like a camo green and this one closes on the back and you can see like the metal closures and all of these fabrics are like really soft like this one feels a little bit more like um i don't know how to corduroy. explain it like yeah kind of like corduroy okay. <clears throat> then we have the lone girl kelly modeling this adorable cupcake sleeper you can see little cupcakes and I thought this would really go well with her uh, tongue and <laughs> her lemon loops. And this one also goes, opens across the front and there's this beautiful little baby land, Cleveland, Georgia, stitching on the bottom. And then last but not least, we have Ralphie in the only like non-branded outfit. It is baby land collection, but it doesn't have like the logo anywhere on it. And Kelly really likes whales. This is, yes, that's what I wanted. They do sell this one in, I believe, the nine inch size and then also like the newborn size. But um, I have a lot of preemies. This is kind of tight on Ralphie. He's um, a 1985 preemie, but he can fit it. It's just like a, kind of a squeeze. You can see. He also can fit a sleeper on the same idea of what Odie's wearing. It's just a little loose. And then Colleen brought in um, one of my Coleco. Um, Premies. This is Sheldon. So he is wearing an outfit in the same size as this. So you can see that they fit the manufactured dolls from this era quite nicely. This I got for my birthday last year, and this is applique. Isn't that it cute? It still smells new. Not oh, I know. It smells so good. What do you think of my show, Oliver? Do you like my outfit? I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got myself for my birthday from Babyland. I really recommend Babyland if you are into Cabbage Patch dolls. I say buy Babyland. It's not disappointing. Babyland. Especially Babyland collection items. Um, there will be pictures of these on my Flickr if you want to see what they look like in photos. You don't need a Flickr to view my stuff. And until next time, love your dolls, love yourself, and love your life.